Here I'm in front of Acer japonicum, often called the full moon maple. The cultivar I'm in front of right now has deeply incest leaves, uh, but there are, or incised leaves, and there are uh, ones that the foliage looks a little bit different than the one that I'm showing you to. But this is an alternative to Acer palmatum, the Japanese maple. Uh, this one is known in particular for its mosaic of fall color. It's another small tree that can be used in the home landscape. Uh, a lot of times these are called peacock maples. You hear people say that, uh, full moon maples. Uh, but another way to increase the diversity of maples in your home landscape. Uh, again, opposite leaf arrangement on uh, Acer japonicum, uh, just like all maples. Uh, they tend to be a little bit more petite in size uh, than the Japanese maple, Acer palmatum. Uh, but a variety of different cultivars available on the market, several of which are great for the home landscape. Uh, they maybe prefer a little bit cooler climate uh, than we have in the southeastern United States, but a great landscape tree to know. So Acer japonicum, uh, this is most commonly referred to as full moon maple, hardy from zones five through seven. So really uh, in the southeastern United States, it does start to bump up against a little bit of heat tolerance. A little bit smaller than uh, you typically see the Japanese maple. This one tends to be for us 15 by 15 as kind of a relatively good size. Uh, overall, it's a low, it's a low maintenance plant. Uh, needs very little uh, care other than additional water during drought periods. Here's a landscape tip. Grown primarily as a specimen or in small groups around the home, patio or yard, a vigorous understory tree featuring attractive foliage and stunning fall color.